Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this All Blacks career mode. We are currently sitting in first, eight points ahead of South Africa, who we do play next, so if they manage to beat us, then the table will be very close between first and second. So we did manage to win the first Bledisloe Cup match against the Wallabies last episode, so that puts us 1-0 up in that series. But if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, let's get right into this match against South Africa. Welcome to Pretoria for this highly anticipated match. This match could easily tip in either direction. It'll just need the right spark. Justin Marshall joins me here. Superb conditions here, Justin. So our matches against South Africa so far have been interesting. They have won one, we have won one. That is the last two results. Cody Taylor will be on the field instead of Dane Coles to start this one. Shannon Frizzell is moving into that number six. I have gone pretty much with the same back line except the change of Severis in the number 14 jersey instead of Salisi Rayasi. But yeah, I see that Will Jordan is only five days away from recovering from his injury, so he will certainly get a chance very soon. Richie Moanga in number 22 now instead of Rico Ioani because of last match how Bowen Barrett got injured, but luckily it wasn't a serious one. Your Blacks prepare to do the hucker. Right, the haka has been done. This is a big match. We are away from home. Last time we were away from home against South Africa, we lost. But we were in the white jersey. We are back in the black today. But that is a good start for South Africa there. Malcolm Marks taking that one well. Frizzell rips that away though. Cody Taylor now. Out to Lennart Brown. No, it's been intercepted. That is not what we wanted there. And because of it, Faf de Klerk at halfback has now got that ball. Malcolm Marks with a good driving run up the middle, but Frizzell once again rips it away. He's been a beast so far this game, Shannon Frizzell. Uh-oh, that's not good. That wasn't what we wanted. And now he's very close to the line. Mossed it. Joe Moody rips it away, though. No, it's been intercepted a meter out. What a tackle from Cody Taylor. This is too close. And South Africa now. No, he's so close. And he has scored Faf de Klerk. And it's tell you what South Africa have started this match extremely well they are fired up about the loss last time and now the All Blacks under a lot of pressure it just never quite went well for us here for the All Blacks Joe Moody ripped it away stolen straight away by Kitsoff that was a great tackle from Cody Taylor though but unfortunately Fafta Klerk just able to fall over the line as Savia tackles him and because of it South Africa leading us front sustain with the kick and he has converted so because of it seven minutes gone South Africa have a 7 nil down I don't think we've had that happen before in a match that a team scored that quickly against us I could be wrong though sometimes the defending at the start of a game is a bit shocking Willemsa takes that one well now they're using their bats Oh, and he's been forced into touch, luckily. Now, he didn't have dreads in that little play, but now he does in the cinematic. See, that's what makes it so hard to recognize these players. Oh, it's a bit on South Africa's side here. Might be stolen. Yes, it is. So because of it, South Africa have once again got the ball. They want to score again here, South Africa. Good hit on Fafta Klerk, though. And because of it, we have got that ball back. Now, of course, we would love to score here as well. Sam Kane back to Goodhue. Fires it out to Leonard Brown. Oh, I thought the draw and pass was on. Caleb Clark, though, with the step. But he has been tackled by Williamson. We have kept that ball now. Aaron Smith around the side. Tries to sell the dummy, but Kitsoff was aware of what was going on. And because of it, South Africa, unfortunately, have got this ball back. 
Fifth to Clerk now fires it back to Willem, so he kicks it across field. Sevi Reese chasing that one. Hoping he will pick it up soon. He's oh, he's been hit hard by the other winger there. Luckily he didn't want to contest that there winger. Or else that could have been their ball probably. Now it's gone through the hands of Aaron Smith. And because of it, Kitsoff's now got it. None of our men want to join the ruck. And Fafta Clerk out to Malcolm Marks who's hit hard by Frizzell. But South Africa, they have a chance to score again here. Aaron Smith though, up to his feet very quickly, we have got that one back, now Savia out to Cody Taylor, he needs to find someone, but unfortunately our back line was very deep, Aaron Smith I am going to kick this in behind, that might go out on the full though, no it has dropped, fortunately, and because of it we are now in South Africa's 22, I was worried for a second after clicking to kick, that it might have been going out on the full, but we got lucky, and because of it hopefully we can win this line out. No, Marks is able to have that one retained, but now they are using their backs. That's a great pass off to Stein now. Or Stain, sorry. Bowden Barrett's got that one, but he is tackled well by, I think it was Jesse Creel. Is that Jesse Creel? No, I might be, I might have my names wrong there, but good you now out to Leonard Brown, but we are shut, shut down. Tell you what, South Africa have me rattled here big time. They are playing extremely well, but Bowden Barrett now passes to Goodhue. One more, but unfortunately, once again, it's found no one. Faf de Klerk at a two on one. And they are going to score again, South Africa. We are going to be 12 0 down. I can't believe this. The All Blacks can't believe it. Faf de Klerk is having the game of his life at the moment. And because of it, we are going to have to come back from 12 0 down. Hey, what? The South Africans, they've come to play, and I am. I am a bit nervous. 7 0 I can come back from, but we are getting a little bit too many points against us now. It's going to be a tight second half, that's for sure. But yeah, unfortunately, interception. South Africa taking their chances that were given them. And now Stain will be taking this kick. I think he will be able to convert it. We need a try before the end of this first half if we want any chance of making it back into this game. But. I am, I am surprised. I'm going to be honest, I knew that they'd come to play South Africa, but I didn't realise that they were going to put 14 points on the board over us straight away as well. I don't really have a game plan other than just try and hopefully score. I'm not sure how to use my back line. South Africa know how to use theirs. Have to click around the side of the ruck, the man who scored twice. Joe Moody in very early, but it is still South Africa's ball. Stolen by Bowden Barrett, that's what we need to do, but that is not, unfortunately, giving it straight back. I thought we were going to have a fast break, but South Africa just too quick with the interception, sadly, so far. And that is going to still be their ball. Faf de Klerk round the side once again, driven backwards. Now, I got a comment on the one that I lost as New Zealand against South Africa last time saying I made them look bad. Well, tell you what, you're not going to be liking this performance, that's for sure, because at the moment I'm 14-0 down. And it's going to be a very interesting second half, but at the moment, South Africa, they didn't want to give us the ball. We've got it here now. Their wingers are extremely quick, and it is making it difficult to try and get anything going. Good you has been clothesline now what to do here. I feel like I've actually got a... Oh, yeah, that was a high one. This is a big decision here. This will shape the game. Do I kick for the corner and risk the line out, or do I go for the post? I'm going to kick for the corner. I almost have to, I feel. I would have loved to take the three, but the problem is, yes, the three would have helped us now, but it would still mean we had to score twice. So if we can score once now, it would help the situation a lot, but if I get this one wrong... Oh, that's not what we wanted to see at all. I've choked. I'm good at, I'm good at messing it up. Whitelock though has taken that one. He's driving towards the line. If they steal this one, South Africa, unfortunately, it's going to be half time. And because of it, they have gotten very lucky there. No, but apparently it wasn't. Joe Moody now taking that one. So apparently we didn't actually have advantage there. For some reason, even though Fafta Clerk did drop the ball, now Smith 
What a terrible pass, boys. We need to sort it out. That's going to be South Africa's ball now. They'll just want to kick this out. Fifth to Clerk has dropped the ball again. We need to use our backs this time. It's not really working for us. Tawanga Fussy fires it long to Leonard Brown. How quick was he up, the South African player? We didn't even get a chance to take a step before he was down us. Down us, what does that mean? Seve Reese now though on the inside to Goodhue. The boys just are going backwards and it is going back. Which would have been for the scrum but it is half time and we are now 14-0 going into the second half. And all I can say is we're going to have to play better. This is going to be a big comeback. They've had more possession. We've only had six handling errors. It's felt like 50 because we just can't, we just haven't been able to get this ball and unfortunately if it continues this could be an easy win for South Africa are we going to lose to them twice on home turf for them twice away from home we did lose last time in the white jersey we can't lose in the black jersey surely we haven't been taking many of those anyway in this match oh we have intercepted that in the breakdown hopefully see I don't know what to do I'm gonna be honest I'm sitting here looking at how good South Africa have been at that they just steal it every time I use my back line and some will say I'm gonna to have to try something different because back line movements aren't gonna work in this match it seems and South, Af South Africa still have this ball kits off driven backwards we need this ball boys but we're not going to get it South Africa are going to do everything they can to hold on to this ball and unfortunately and Willemser sells the dummy now not only is South Africa going to do what they can to keep this ball they're going to try and score again am I going to lose this game to nil I don't think I've ever had a oh it's a forward pass from Sam Kane I'm hating this but I'm loving it at the same time South Africa just too strong at the moment I don't know what to do my game plan of just trying to score and using our backs to our advantage just has not worked because we haven't been able to find the wingers plain and simple now they're trying a set play now it is their number 10 out to number 13 he has been tackled well and we have injured him it is Speckman who is injured hopefully they bring on someone slow I'm going to be honest if we can outpace them on the wing we will be in oh I think Kotsi's quite quick though so I don't think, yeah I'm not sure whether the outrunning him will be the option. We're 51 minutes into this match, we're going to need to score twice and some in the next little while. And I'm starting to think maybe it's not going to be possible. They are just playing so well South Africa, Willemsa tackled into touch by Caleb Clark, the line outs unfortunately. I'm just panicking in them and anyone who knows me knows I'm terrible under pressure. Oh my sh wow, that is shocking, that is terrible. That is pressure at its finest that I can't handle and because of it South Africa now get the ball once again and the time is going very quickly. I'm going to be honest, they've compressed their back line there, so have we though, or their line out, sorry. Oh, but it's not on our side, unfortunately. South Africa, we're running out of time in this match very quickly. South Africa will be fine with just holding on to this ball. It's a great sell of the dummy. Jesse Creel was the player doing it. Someone needs to get up and take that, but we have un <laughs> been unable to get this ball in this match. It is domination from the South Africans at its finest. Now we're using our backs a bit. Seve Reese, but look how quick they are. The South Africans, and they've ripped the ball away. Malcolm Marks, tell you what, is this the game of the century for the for the Springboks here? It's insane how good they've played. I've never been shut out of a game of rugby like I have in this one. I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to have to kick this one. It's a good kick downfield by Aaron Smith. As this one stays in field, it might help us a little bit. Fafta Clerk's going to be under a lot of pressure. And he has run it into touch. That is a gift for the All Blacks. But unfortunately, the line-out is my thing. I just can't. <laughs> I'm just panicking too much. That might be our ball. Tell you what, I'm hopeful here. It's been stolen. I couldn't get it any more on our side, I don't think, if I tried. And unfortunately, South Africa still have this ball. Kitsoff tries to fend. 
South Africa still have this ball. Fifth to Clerk now. We need to steal this ball very soon. It was a forward pass from South Africa. This is our chance now. We need to score extremely soon. But we need to win the scrum. And the way South Africa are going, I feel like this is... Right, I've got to go my set play. The trusty set play. We need to get it wide. And we need to get a try. Bowden Barrett. To Gutu, fires it out to Severis, he's going to be able to so score Severis, and he does, that is one, we still need one more, and we need to convert this. Tell you what, my heart is racing, Severis scores the try, we won the scrum, we had to work extremely hard for this. <laughs> Aaron Smith out to Bowden Barrett to Gutu, Severis running sideways just quick enough, and scores the try. Now it is Bowden Barrett, it is a wide kick, the wind is straight behind him, I'm going to go out a little bit more. That is good from Bowden Barrett, that's what we need, it's 7 minutes left in this match, the All Blacks 7 points behind. One more try and then it's possibly looking at a drop goal, but we do still need that one more try and it took us 73 minutes to score the first one. We don't have 73 minutes. Three minutes left, and they've retained the ball off kickoff as well. They are playing insanely well. The wall oh, I keep trying to call them the Wallabies, but I know that they're not. Leonard Brown, that's not what we wanted there, mate. Have to clerk now. Oh, that's a great run from Jesse Creel. We need this ball extremely soon. The advantage is over. That is brilliant because that means now we can take the ball, but they're not going to give it. There's 79 minutes gone. We need this ball extremely soon or else they are just going to kick this out and South Africa will win this match. This is probably the last chance we're going to get, but no one wants to get into the ruck. The fifth clerk round the side tries to throw it forward. Tawanga Fussy takes it to ground. We need this ball now. The back line is going to be... The option here, good you up the middle. Passes out to Geordie Barrett. One more back to Bowden Barrett. Out to Leonard Brown on the inside to Dewey Pelotu, who's dropped the ball and it's gone into touch. And South Africa have beaten the All Blacks in a, well, <laughs> you just got to say a dominant performance from them. I thought we had half a chance. If Geordie Barrett had found Caleb Clark there instead of firing it back to Bowden, maybe it would have been different. But because of it, South Africa win this match. Pure domination and not to us this time. And because of it, this table is going to be a lot closer now. Well done to South Africa. They deserved it. You can't play any better than that, I don't think. So the score was 14-7 to South Africa. Faf de Klerk got the two tries. Staying converted twice. Severis able to score in the 73rd. Bowden converting. But unfortunately, it was just too late. 73% position to South Africa, 27 to us. Offloads one. Tackles 74 compared to their 39. Line breaks, they had more handling errors, 11 to four. It was just domination from the South Africans. We're gonna have to get them in the next one because we can't be having that. But anyway, well played South Africa. Right, so the table is not looking as flash for us now. Yes, we are still in first place, but there's only a five point difference between us and second, we did get a bonus point for being within seven, but South Africa played extremely well and we will have to play them again very soon. So I'll have to go to the training ground, work out a strategy to be able to take down the South African side. But anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, even though I lost, please do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.